Welcome back everybody. Today we're here to talk about The Walking Dead Season 11 Episode 8. This was the finale for Part 1. I can't believe we're already here, but this is going to be my review of the episode. Also, remember, this is the early premiere on AMC Plus, and it's the finale for Part 1, so I want to be clear about spoilers in case you have not seen Episode 8 spoiler warning but we are going to get into this episode and break it down talk about the whole thing i'm very excited about it um and also if you are a fan of the walking dead be sure to subscribe because we still have a lot of walking dead content coming up you know uh teasers and trailers and that kind of stuff um you know uh, making videos talking about episode uh nine and the second half in general um, or not even the second half, the, the second third, I should say. But I keep saying second half, but it's the second third because uh, this is a three-part uh, season. And then we also, of course, have Fear the Walking Dead coming up. We have The World Beyond Season 2 airing right now. So lots of Walking Dead content still coming out. So be sure to subscribe if you are a fan of the show. But yeah, let's get into the review. All right, so there is a lot to talk about with this episode. I guess I'm just going to start off from the beginning and talk about the opening minutes but I also want to make a note on the, on this whole season uh, visually and technically because I think visually and technically this season has been really great I love the opening shot I thought that was really cool uh, so I just wanted to talk about that for a minute um, this episode as well but like the whole season in general has been really great uh, and then the opening minutes like I said so the whole thing with Wells I like I really like that whole sequence I, I also really liked how he put up a good fight like we know the Reapers know how to fight and he was doing really well uh, but but then um, the whispers came in or it's our group acting like whispers I, I just say whispers because that's what you know the whispers are known to do uh, but yeah it's, I thought that was also it kind of reminded me of like the first time we saw the whispers sort of do that because they do a really good job on the show of like it's hard to tell the difference between a walker and a whisper unless like you're really up close um so yeah like when the when the walker or the whisper attacked wells it just sort of reminded me of uh the early whisper episodes and then we had the conflict between leah and pope which built up to a pretty big moment which we'll talk about a little bit later um you know lee obviously was upset that pope sent wells out there by himself and she was right like i don't understand why pope would send wells out by himself uh i mean they saw in the opening minutes like they saw all the walkers there like there's no reason why you would send out one person to do you know all of that but uh yeah we'll get back to you know pope and the reapers in just a second uh over at alexandria we had um you know a storm uh, going on over there uh, you know the walkers are getting inside of the house I was really worried for a lot of the characters because there's definitely some close calls like with Gracie for example uh, but Judith uh, helped out over there um, also I was worried about Virgil um, and uh, the reason I'm so worried about Virgil I think is because like I feel like he holds the secrets about the CRM like he knows about Michonne and everything right like, I don't want anything bad to happen to Virgil. I feel like he should eventually talk about this with the group. Uh, so hopefully he sticks around. And, and I like Virgil anyways. Like, I think he's pretty cool and um, an interesting character. So I'd love to see him stick around uh, on this show for a while. But that scene where he was fighting the walker, they made it seem like he got bit. But I don't think he did. I think he was his arm was just hurting from before and he just grabbed it. Um, and uh, same thing with Rosita. Like... Uh, I loved what we saw with Rosita there uh, being, you know, an absolute badass again. That scene was, like, so epic. Like, when she went out there and started fighting all the walkers, the music was great, too. Like, the music was really, really great. Um, and I hope she didn't get bit either because, I don't know, I'm always cautious about this kind of thing. You know, with the, with the walker bites reveals, like, later. I really hope none of these characters got bit because there was a lot of walker action. Uh, you know, even the walkers broke into the house, so we'll see what happens, but I I'm sure they're gonna be okay, like, uh, I'm sure Rosita is fine, um, but I just love that scene, that was like up there for the whole episode for me, that whole sequence, I loved it. I think we need more moments like that for a lot of the characters, and I and if you've been watching my reviews throughout the season, 
I've I've talked about this a couple times that like I'm not really too happy with what they've been doing with Rosita this season. Uh, and frankly, like all of the Alexandrian characters, like there hasn't been too much going on there, too much exciting stuff because like all the focus right now is with the Reapers and the Commonwealth. Uh, but this episode definitely picked it up. Um, I mean, there's been a couple of good moments as well. Like I'm not saying like the whole season, like the episode where Aaron was dealing with the whispers, that was great. So, so I think we just need more moments like that uh, for some of the other characters at Alexandria. Uh, but anyways, let's move back to um, you know Meridian and the Reapers and stuff like that. So. Daryl, Daryl slowly, uh, you know, uh, working, like helping out Maggie and them. Like when he offered that guy a cigarette and then killed him, I was like, damn, that, that was pretty brutal because I think it, it, honestly, like we do see a lot of brutal moments and, you know, stuff like that with the walkers, but we don't really see that kind of stuff with, you know, people anymore. Uh, I mean, we did a little bit with the whispers, but they sort of cut, cut back on that kind of thing. In this episode, we saw two like brutal moments. Uh, with uh, that guy that Daryl killed and a la little bit later uh, with Pope. I did give a spoiler warning, so hopefully that was not a spoiler for anybody. But anyways, I also just love that whole sequence at Meridian, like with the walkers and the smoke and, the and, you know, the group mixed in there as whispers. Like, I love that whole sequence because I visually was also really pleasing. Like, the lighting was really good. And a lot of times, well, I don't want to say a lot of times, but there's been a few moments in The Walking Dead where they have scenes at night. And I love, personally, I love when The Walking Dead does scenes at night because it just adds so much to the horror element. Uh, and they and they have been doing a lot of it with uh, The Whispers ever since they came onto the show a few seasons ago. But there's been moments on the show where there's scenes going on at night and you can't really see too much, you know, about what's happening because it's just like the lighting isn't that good. But this episode uh, was really, really well done. I thought the lighting was great. And this goes back to the thing I was talking about earlier in my review. Like technically, uh, this season has been great. Um, but yeah, it was it was very easy to see. But I just love that whole atmosphere of like this walkers and stuff like that. I love when the walk dead does stuff like that. And then we had that scene uh, between Leah and Daryl where, where Daryl was talking about or telling Leah the truth about his people. And that moment like really sort of like, I don't know. I just sort of was like a little shocked seeing that because I don't think we've ever seen, you know, that side of Daryl before. Like, he just seemed, it was just, like, such an intimate moment with Daryl there. And, like, I mean, we've seen him sad before and stuff like that. But he was, like, so vocal, <laughs> which is maybe the thing. Like, because Daryl isn't, like, the most vocal person. Like, obviously, he does have emotion and stuff. We do see it in his actions and his facial expressions. But just seeing him that vocal, like, really asking Leah for help there was really surprising. And I was like, wow. Like, we've never, like, this is, like, kind of shocking to see, but I loved it. And that whole sequence on the rooftop was, like, really great. Like, the tension was so real. Like, like especially when Pope came in and interrupted Leah and Daryl. Like, you could just feel that tension there. Um, so, yeah, that was, like, a really well done scene. And then we saw that Pope was going to fire at everybody. And then that's when Leah stepped in. Um, you know, to take him down. And that was also pretty crazy because I wasn't expecting that. Like, I did think Leah was going to, like, pull through and help out. But I didn't think of her to do, like, what she did. I thought, like, maybe she would just, like... I thought it would have been, like, Maggie uh, to take down Pope. But it was Leah. And I gotta say, I really loved what they did with Leah this episode. Because I love, like, the little double twist. Like, like we thought, okay, Leah's helping out Daryl. But then she was like, no... I'm not like she wasn't like no I'm not on your side like Pope was going to take out people down there that's my family so because of that I had to take him out so like she wasn't like just helping out she I mean she was helping out Daryl because like Daryl was standing right in front of her and she still let him go but she just wasn't like choosing Daryl over her people so I, I really did like that for her character, and I, and I love the little double twist there. Let me know in the comments down below what did you guys think about that, because I really liked it. 
And then we had Leah setting off that weapon or whatever they had. And that's when the episode ended. And it was like a huge cliffhanger. Like that was literally a, like they literally like cut in the middle of the scene. Like that is as cliffhangery as you can get. <laughs> you know, like they literally cut in the middle of the scene. And yeah, we'll talk about, you know, this cliffhanger a lot throughout in the future and stuff like that in videos. But yeah, that was that was pretty crazy because like. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. Like Negan and Maggie were standing right there. So how are they going to get out of the situation? Are they going to be okay? Is one of them going to be okay? Is both of them going to be okay? Is somebody going to not make it? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot there because like it wasn't like it wasn't like a stare down or something like that. Like they were literally standing there and she already like um, fired at them. And that's when the episode ended. So we'll see. But that was a pretty crazy cliffhanger, but I kind of liked it. I, I don't know. I, I Let me know in the comments down below what did you guys think about it. I feel like some people are going to be upset about the cliffhanger, which I totally understand. But I didn't think the cliffhanger was that bad. I, I kind of liked it. I feel like it was deserved because they were building up to that moment of, you know, the two groups going to battle. And they in that, in that episode specifically, they were building up to that moment with that weapon they had. So... I kind of liked it. And then we also had like a bit of a cliffhanger at Alexandria as well uh, with the walkers uh, actually getting inside of the building or inside of the house. I'm sure they're going to be okay, you know, like the people at Alexandria. Um, maybe someone potentially gets bit, but I'm not really expecting any major characters uh, to get bit or anything like that. I feel like the stuff that's happening in Alexandria right now is more of a setup for them to go to the Commonwealth because their community is now like gone so that would sort of like give them that excuse to go to the commonwealth um so i think they'll be okay for the most part but let me know in the comments down below all your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below i'm still a little bit worried though for rosita and virgil because they both had like a really close call so hopefully they don't do some like reveal or something and then of course alden as well like we're still waiting on him but we'll talk more about this in like other videos when we talk about the second half or the second third i should say um, in general, this is more of a review for this episode on itself, but let me know in the comments down below What did you think about the episode? Definitely interested in hearing your thoughts and opinions, especially about that cliffhanger um, But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up there Hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like rating and for more walking dead videos like this Be sure to subscribe and as always thanks for watching. Please take care and I'll see you guys soon